So this is one of the chicken breasts that I took off from the whole chicken. And um, still has the skin on, um, the drumette attached to it. And I'm just gonna pan sear and roast it. And then afterwards I'm gonna make a velouté sauce with some duck fat, chicken stock, and flour. So the first thing to do is actually to take off the little chicken tender here. So you can just kind of peel it off. You don't even need a knife. This thing is just gonna kind of fall off. With this, you wanna, well at least, I like to just keep it simple um, and season it with some salt. So this is now seasoned on both sides with like a few pinches of salt. Because I'm making a sauce with it, I'm not worried about like thoroughly seasoning the chicken breast anyways, because if you look at it, it is not an even cut, which means, you know, this part here is thicker. Um, so whatever you do, you're not gonna get um, seasoning all the way through. Now I wanna turn the oven on and preheat it at 400 to 425. Oven's preheating. Pan's preheating on medium high. I'm gonna go in with some of my magic oil. About one and a half tablespoons. Grab your chicken. And that goes straight in. And the pan is still pretty cold, so there's no sizzle, and that's okay. I just wanna press it down so that the skin gets maximum contact with the pan. You know, you just kind of wait for the pan to heat up. Now, I should have waited for it to heat up before I put in the chicken breast, but things happen, you know? Just want to be patient as the pan comes up to temperature. Now, the top side is still ice cold, so it doesn't matter. Now, it starts to sizzle a little bit. I'm also going to chuck this piece in. Okay. Give that a little press as well. This thing is going to take literally three minutes to cook. So I'm going to take it out before I put the pan in the oven. And I just let it kind of brown a little bit on the skin side. And it's going to take a few minutes, maybe a couple. We'll see what happens. It's been another minute. I'm going to flip the chicken tender. Give it another minute before I take it out and put the main breast in the oven. So it's been another two minutes. I've taken a small piece out of the pan. And now I'm gonna turn the heat off. And you can see it's starting to, like the bottom is starting to cook. So like there's a little bit of um, white meat near the pan. And that's what I want. Um, now, this is gonna go into the 400 degree oven for 10 to 15 minutes. All right, it's been 10 minutes. Ooh. Rapidly sizzling. The clock's in at around 119 or 120. Um, means it needs another one or two minutes in the oven. Another 90 seconds in the oven. See how it climbs all the way up to 130. So I'm gonna let it hang out in the pan for a bit and it's gonna continue to cook. Everything is off now. Um, I want it to reach 140. Let me just flip the chicken breast to see how I did on the skin side. Ready? Look at that. That's a nice color. Nice, nice color. Nice and golden. Pretty crispy. This piece just fell off, so I'm just gonna eat it. All right, so this guy's been sitting here for a few minutes. And the interior is at around 140, so I'm gonna pull it out. 
onto the cutting board. Let it rest. And now I'm gonna make a velouté sauce. So traditionally, well, first of all, let me turn the hob back on, or a medium, medium high. Traditionally, a velouté is made with um, flour, butter, and whatever stock. In this case, I want to use duck fat because I like the flavor. So what you want to do first, you want to take equal parts fat and flour. So I'm going to go in with, this is about a tablespoon of duck fat, I would say. And get it off. Yeah, so a tablespoon of duck fat, maybe a little bit more. Doesn't hurt anyone. So a tablespoon and a half then. Um, there we go. We'll let that melt a little bit. That's a lot of fat, by the way. And normally you would make this in the saucepan, but I want to use the, the flavor of the chicken. You know? So there's around two and a half tablespoons of fat in here. So let me put the duck fat back. You can totally use butter again. Um, but I like duck fat. So you want equal parts flour. That just fell everywhere. I'm gonna say two spoonfuls. That looks about right. Maybe a little bit more. It's okay if it's a little on the thicker side. It's gonna be thinned out with um, chicken stock later. So you have the flour and the uh, fat. And now you wanna stir it around. And you wanna cook the uh, flour, essentially, to form a roux. And I'm gonna keep stirring. And the flour is basically gonna, it's almost like it's getting deep fried. And it's gonna uh, darken in color. It's gonna start from white to light yellow to blonde. And that's when I'm gonna add my stock. Again. Well, that's gonna hurt for a while. So let's march on. Not the first time I've burned myself, not the second time. Probably the 25th time. This looks like it's it's water, but it's fat, so it's much hotter. You wanna keep stirring. You wanna let the color darken. But you don't want anything to burn. Mm. That was one hell of a burn, not gonna lie. I think I'm good. So this is basically a blonde roux. Now slowly but surely, I wanna add my stock. Okay, a little bit at a time. And immediately I wanna stir it. See how it instantly thickens everything up? I might want to take it off the heat a little bit. A little bit more stock. Again, it's not a good idea to make it in a skillet. Heat control is also important. Take it off the heat if it's you know getting a little too hot. Some more stock. Keep whisking, whiskey business. I want to turn the heat down all the way to the lowest possible and put it back on the hob. Keep stirring. Last bit of my stock goes in. And this is um, way too much sauce, by the way. You don't need this much sauce for one chicken breast. Just want to stir to incorporate, make sure everything is homogenous. And once it looks like this, I'm going to season it with such a salt and pepper. Oh, that burn is starting to hurt. Uh, Touch of salt. 
and make sure it's properly seasoned here because the, the, the center of the chicken is obviously not as salty as at least as I would normally prefer it. So it's okay to make this sauce a little bit on the salty side. You don't want to go overboard either. You know, balance. That the taste needs a lot more salt. Traditionally, I'm not sure if um, velouté sauce is supposed to come with pepper. With all the richness from everything, I'm just gonna go with some pepper at the end. And uh, yeah, that's done. And uh, you know, it looks pretty good. I paid my price. Let's plate everything up. It's the Lakers t-shirt again, because why not, you know? Now let's dig straight in. Look at how crispy, listen how crispy this is. And look at how golden this is. Oh, it's dripping juices. Look at that golden crispy skin. You know, this is the benefit of butchering your own chicken. You can have the boneless skin on chicken breast. You can have your own chicken stock and make a sauce out of it, you know? Velouté sounds very posh, but it's actually pretty easy. This idea came to me after I watched um, a video by Alex, French guy cooking. This guy's amazing. He does the super geeky food experiments series. And um, yeah, now he's working on a series on sauces. So he made the velouté. And I watched it and I was like, okay, this doesn't seem that hard. And I happened to have some chicken stock at hand. So I made it, you know? Now, I did make way too much velouté, not gonna lie. Like, right, look at this. This amount of velouté. But you know what? I reckon you could make fried rice with it or like finish your rice with it, you know? Blend some of that in. This is a lot of flavor. And if you don't eat meat, you can make velouté vegan. Just use olive oil or whatever, you know, um, vegetable oil. And then add a vegan stock, you know, a nice vegetable stock. And you'll get a pretty good velouté as well. This is the second episode of the chicken series, I guess. I'm going to call it that. Um, next up, I'll probably do something with, you know, dark meat. And um, stay tuned. We'll see how far um, I can stretch this to. And if you want to watch more of this, like, subscribe, comment, share, all that good stuff. I'll be back next week with a chicken leg or thigh recipe, hopefully. I'll have to get another chicken and do the deboning myself again because I've already eaten the two leg pieces that I deboned the other day because it doesn't stay very long in the fridge and I want to eat my chicken fresh. So anyways, I'll be back next week. And I'm